this question or comment comes to us from Richard Newquist, and he's talking about, in the M system with the driver, he's talking about the value of or lack of value in counterbalancing. Now, what does that, what does counterbalancing mean? Well, when you go get fitted for putters, the guys who really understand it relative to speed control, they'll have you hit your putter and they have different uh, little sticks that they put down in the shaft that are different weights. And they'll find a putter weight and then they'll find a counterbalance weight up here where all of a sudden your speed control gets significantly better. I'm not sure why that is, but it works. Now, the more weight you have up here, it brings you closer to the center of balance of the club and it changes the feel of the club. So a lot of people do it with putters. I mean, I would say, I don't know how many guys on tour, I'm sure a, a, a pretty large number because it's a feel issue and it starts to make the club work uh, much easier. I hate to say release because I don't like that word. So it makes the momentum of the club head do different things a lot easier. For a long time, there's been a lot of players who have counterbalanced all of their clubs. Now, when you counterbalance an iron, Nicholas did this for a lot of his career, and I think he still does it, where he puts a little bit of lead tape on the shaft at the top of it, inside the club. So then when he takes a hold of the club, when he swings it, it's like having a weight out on the end of the club and the club head. So if you have more weight here, all of a sudden, the club starts to pivot a lot easier. So it's a counterbalance that makes this action easier and easier to do. Um, is there value in it? It depends. It's a feel thing. It can create a sensation that makes you hit the ball better. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't discount trying it. Now, I'm going to give away one of my little secrets here. I put lead tape in the end of my grip. I have since I heard that from Nicholas, and I still do it today. So I have a little roll of lead tape that we used to put on the back of our clubs to do what all this adjustment stuff does now. So we put lead tape on the toe, on the heel, to change how the club worked. Or we take our irons and we put lead tape on the toe or on the heel or high in the face to change how the club felt. Well, I took that same lead tape and I put a little couple of pieces of it down in the shaft. How much weight is it? It's not a lot. Does it really make a lot of difference? I thought it did. It felt good and I've always driven the ball well. So what do I do? As soon as I get a driver in that I'm going to use, I take the grip off, I put that same amount of lead tape in the end of the shaft, and I play it. I don't do it with my irons. Never have, never, I don't, I don't know why. So is it valuable? There's a lot of physics that says, yes, it is. How many players do it? There are some that do and some that don't. A lot of players do it with their putter, not as many with their irons and some with their driver. So it's up to you. It does have value, but again, a lot of it's just feel. Thank you for watching this video. I know it's going to help your game. Remember to comment on the videos, like, subscribe, and turn on notifications to watch for new Malaska Golf videos coming your way.